it so also it says the car has driven 370,000 kilometers which also said when I bought it so yeah otherwise I'll just just stay here for a while so I don't need to scream so yeah what works there uh, the lights come on before you start it. The the full beams light comes on when you put the full beams on. So pretty much everything works normally except the speedometer, 
the clock, the trip distance meter and the the full distance meter, I don't know the, the proper name for that. And it, when it idles at warm, it sounds like a V8 or a tractor, some say. Here I have a wood panel, which I made myself, because when I bought this car, these panels were missing. I have a cheap radio that I stole from my Mercedes 190E. As a car, I guess it works all right. It takes me from place A to place B. It's um, pretty reliable. I haven't had too much problems with it, apart from the engine power isn't really what it's supposed to be, and idles terrible, and runs pretty terrible. Uh, some of it got better when I changed the distributor cap and rotor, and some of it got a bit better when I put a um, bottle of injector cleaner into the fuel. So yeah, I have no idea what's wrong with it, but you know, summer is on its way, so I'll be soon driving the Daihatsu again. But it rides smooth, the suspension's great, it has a Monroe ride leveling system, which, is, uh, which leaks, so I have to fill the system up quite often. There's a little valve in the boot, a Schrader valve which you just fill up and then the back raises is actually for if you have a big load you fill it up and the ride is level hmm. brilliant if it works yes the seats all right pretty pretty comfortable you can have a rather nice sitting position although the I mean, I don't know if it had one. It had some sort of center console here, which I took off because it was in the way of adjusting the handbrake and never put it back because it's a pain in the arse to get. And last time I put it back, I shorted the heat seater cable between the handbrake and I lost my indicators because it blew the fuse and the indicators and seat heaters are under the same fuse how genius yeah a safety feature and a comfortability feature under the same yes absolutely brilliant whose idea was this I can get into this back seat pretty effortlessly and there's an armrest. I have enough leg room. And yeah, definitely a, well, four seater I would say, because if you're sitting in the middle, well actually the middle seat isn't too bad either. It's about this wide, when in most cars, it's about this wide. So you know, yeah, it's, it's definitely a five seater. Yeah, it's only March and uh, we have a sunny weather. Thanks, global warming. Some say it's a myth, but this isn't normal. Right, as a car, it's all right to drive. I mean, you have a comfortable seat, good driving position, also, people who are passengers are pretty comfortable. The gearbox is pretty smooth, I guess, for its age. Uh, could do with an oil change, probably. But yeah, it's lacking power, so I would rather let the truck behind me have to accelerate a bit. Yeah. I personally would not go for a 2 litre, I would have a 2.3 litre. I'm not actually sure if it's available in this, in this model. The person just let the truck pass because he is catching up and I'm probably speeding. If I were to buy 
one again, and money weren't an issue, you would probably get a, a lot better one for a couple of grand. to have EFI or a carburetor. Literally no idea why the Germans decided to have something in between. Because the Japanese, I actually don't know a car which has mechanical fuel injection. If you're going to buy a 240, don't buy one for 800 euros that's been owned buy an old don't, don't buy one for less than a grand that's been owned by somebody age of 20 who's painted it with a spray can done a terrible job and probably ruined the car otherwise so yeah when I bought this car it was already ruined pretty much so yeah it works as a winter beater However, if you were to buy one year round daily, look out for electrical faults. Uh, yeah, rust issues. I had to do a few patches before I could get it MOT'd. I mean, and the basic stuff. But yeah, it's all right. Just as a car, it's all right. But this car isn't really alright. So yeah, I would buy one. But if I knew, I would not buy this one again. I reckon that's it.